I'm Dr. Adam Wilson of Steamboat Orthopedic and Spine Institute. In partnership with David Siegfried of Mountain Land Therapy in Granby, Colorado, we have created a video series of home exercise programs. These videos are intended as guidance for those patients who are unable to attend in-person physical therapy or as a supplement to your physical therapy. If you are unsure if these videos are right for you, please don't hesitate to contact Steamboat Orthopedic and Spine Institute or Mountain Land Therapy. The following video is intended for those patients recovering from shoulder surgery, including shoulder arthroscopy, rotator cuff repair, or shoulder replacement. Find a stable surface to lean forward on, bending at the waist and trying to get the upper body perpendicular to the floor, excuse me, parallel to the floor. To get this started, we can move our backside forward and back or side to side to get a little momentum to have our arms swing. Shooting for circles that are in the size of six to eight inches in diameter. Clockwise and counterclockwise circles can be performed. Also, north, south, and east, west directions, forward, backward, and side to side. This is also a safe position to bend forward to perform self hygiene tasks on the underneath of the arm. We can also work on elbow range of motion by keeping our hand in contact with our body and rubbing our tummy down to our leg. We want to avoid the hand away from the body for this is a no-no post-surgery. Scapular retraction. Find a corner in your home and place your spine right up against the corner, relaxing the head. We want to squeeze the shoulder blades back as if they are pinching that corner. What we don't want to have happen is the elbows lead the motion. The motion should come from the shoulder blades directly back. Active assisted flexion. Keeping our arms out straight but not fully locked, we will raise our arms up over our head using our non-surgical arm to assist in flexion. This can be performed with a ski pole, broomstick, yardstick. This can also be performed in a seated or standing position, which will be slightly more difficult. External rotation. Place the ski pole or broomstick in the palm of your hand and use the non-surgical hand to help push out towards the side. We want to avoid the elbow from coming away from the body. We can hold this stretch for a period of time and then release it. Wall walks. Walk your fingers up the wall to assist with shoulder flexion. Active assisted abduction. Place the ski pole or broomstick in the palm of the hand using the non-surgical side to assist in bringing the arm out. The arm should be in the plane of the scapula and not directly lateral. External rotation in the sideline. Place a towel between the upper arm and the rib cage, and you can use a weight uh, water bottle to externally rotate. Just raise the arm up towards the sky. We want to keep the elbow at 90 degrees of flexion. External rotation at 90 degrees of abduction. 
We want to place the shoulder blade flat against the wall so that puts us in the plane of the scapula. Abduct our arm slightly below 90 degrees and we can use some resistance, simple water bottle, and performing external rotation. Trying to isolate that rotation and not let her shoulder come up off of the wall.